All right, so I'm going to show you how to bring in an animation for your character. Um, I'm just going to close this one here. So go to your folder wherever you have your, your, your guy, your bad guy. Mine is a bear, so you're supposed to be using your robot if possible. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Death Animation. So Death Adam. All right, and I'm going to open that folder, and I'm going to right-click and import the FBX file of the dying animation of your character. Now you have to make this animation in Mixamo, okay? So um, see mine has uh, been made there, and then I download it, and I just re-upload it. And when I upload it, I need to select the skeleton mesh here, skeletal mesh. And I'm not gonna resize anything, I'm just gonna click import all. So now it's gonna come in. Now what's important is that you're gonna add this to the blueprint you've already created. So you're not going to create a new blueprint. You're going to use the one that you already have. So what I'm going to do is go back to my main folder. And I'm going to open my uh, the animation that I just did of the bear that chases me. So there it is. And if you notice, I have a one little mistake. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, the code. So I'm going to circle this. And I'm going to go C. And I'm going to write what I need to do. Okay, so on C player attack. So uh, one of the things I let me just delete this here so I can add it after. One of the things we need to do is make it so that this capsule uh, is what is attacked. So what we have to do is add a component, and we're going to go down, and you're going to see capsule collision. So we're creating a collision basically, and we need to make this cap. And I'm going to suggest two by two by two. And, you know, it should be bigger than the one underneath it. So one of the things that's happening is your bear or whatever's moving around. So you need it to maybe bigger for your animation, depending on what it is. It could be three by three by three. But what that means is when your bullet hits that where that capsule is, this character dies. Or in your case, it will trigger the animation. Okay. So I'm going to click save, compile and save. Then I'm going to go to the event graph. And I am going to actually on capsule. I'm going to click here. And I'm going to scroll down and make sure I can see what it says on capsule hit plus. So what I want to do is I want to cast the first person projectile. So what that means is that when that first person projectile um, hits this, uh, the bear will die. Okay, cast the first person projectile. So cast to first person projectile. So there it is. And I think I need to uh, draw this other actor to object so that it interacts and knows um, that it's linked to that. So how do I move around in here? Click this space bar and the uh, right mouse button. So cast the first person projectile. Now what I need to do is whenever this projectile hits this, what I want it to do is disable uh, Disable movement, so the character will stop moving, and so character movement stops. And what I want to do now is I want to again space bar right click. What I want to do is uh, play a new animation, play animation um, of skeletal mesh. So you need to make sure it's not mesh but skeletal mesh. Okay, and here I should be able to see uh, bear dancing. I know I need the one where uh, it's the death animation. So we're going to make sure. I think it's oh there it is right here. Bear dying animation. You make sure you have the right one because if you select the one from your previous upload, he'll just keep dancing. So that's no good. You want it to look like he's dying, obviously, because that's what's meant to happen when he gets hit by the projectile. So and here what we're going to do is we're going to put a delay because otherwise it'll trigger it immediately and it'll look kind of odd. So what you want to do is let's go for like three seconds. So after he gets hit by the bullet, maybe even two might be better. And so what do we want to have to happen? Well, we're going to write destroy the actor. So destroy the actor, which is that actor itself. All right, so let's compile and save this. And I'm going to bring this in here. Oops, try to bring this over this there. And uh, let's test it. So if I 
let's play. And if ever your player starts in the wrong spot, just move it around. Just go in the world outlier area and move it. So there's my bear. Right now I only have one. You need to realize once the code is good for this, I can bring in several of this character and interact with them and they'll all attack me easier. Sorry, I moved it. So I have to start the game over here. So here he is again using the W E W A D keys. So let's see. He's gonna come at me. Does he see me? Oops. Oh, there I hit him. And he dies. And he disappears. Okay? Now you could have it stay there, but you know, we're not gonna bother with that. So that's so what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a couple things here. So we wanna add a death sound whenever you shoot the bear. So you'll notice that in your folder I added a wah 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 sound. You can go get any sound off YouTube, but it's really important that you convert the MP3 into a WAV file. It doesn't work. You need WAV files to work with video games, okay, all the time. So what I'm going to do is I've already downloaded the sound, so I'm going to do it, upload it to the bear folder. So I'll just import, and I'm going to go and get the, the sound, like the wah 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 sound. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and double click on my bear blueprint, and I'm going to add it in there. And I've already added it, as you can see. So I need to select the sound asset, which is this one. Whoops. Uh, yeah, the wah 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 sound. So I want that sound to play whenever. So from here, play sound at location. And so, how did I delete this li this line? I just select it, right click, and select. And if you go, you can just click delete, and it disappears. Okay. So if you have any problem with that, let me know. I'm going to compile and save. So let's, uh, I'm just going to move this over here, as usual. Now we're going to go here. Let's press play. Okay, so there's a way I can change that sound because it's not it's supposed to be a ball. We want it to be better later. So there's a gun. He's going to come at me. Uh, had a hard time there. But he's dead. Okay, so have any questions, please let me know.